Hey. So it snowed last night. I went to Les Schwab and I got my Michelin Supersport summer tires off. Bought some studded snow tires and put them on the stock rims. And now I can drive in the snow. My plan was I wanted to go, I wanted to hit the slopes today. I wanted to go skiing. But I figured with all this nice fresh snow, I should go break out my propeller backpack and actually make a video for you. So let's go to the shed. I haven't used this since the Discovery Channel shoot. Okay, so since my last video when the ESC caught on fire, which I'm pretty sure was just water damage, it wasn't overloading, but still, I was a bit paranoid. So with the Discovery shoot, I decided to use the smaller wooden propeller. This is a 22 by 10, and this is, uh, I think like two more inches. This is a larger diameter but lower pitch carbon fiber propeller. And when I used that last time, of course, I caught on fire. Now, I don't think it's because of the propeller, but in general, I was a little bit afraid of it. Uh, but this is very expensive. It's a 160 amp 12S LiPo capable ESC. Charging all these batteries would be a huge pain if I didn't have this really nice charger here, which I can even use to see the internal resistance of each of the cells and make sure that it's healthy. But uh, yeah, these would be a real pain if I didn't have a fast charger in this big old server power supply that I rigged up. Wait for this to finish charging. I think I have a fun idea of what to do in the snow. I have this big snowy backyard and I think I'll take the big RC car out. So I'm actually flying to California tomorrow, so that's neat. All right, carbon prop. Ready to go, take off please. How can it be so stable? Let's try that, act that, uh, that uh, tracking now. Yeah, active track, go. Okay, should be tracking me. Now let's see if I can uh, ski somewhere. Washington.
Ferris, move your hand. Can I just go? Yep. Oh, my God. 